I've been furious for most of the week watching what's happening to Christine Blase Ford versus Brett Kavanaugh, and we need to talk about this mental health subject. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. Something I try to do is decrease the stigma, increase awareness, and oh my God, am I trying to increase awareness now. One of the reasons that I'm making this video is because so many people do not understand mental illness, they don't understand neuroscience, and it's absolutely mind boggling. But anyways, if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But anyways, like this is blowing my mind. Like I, I unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, I know so many women who have been the victims of trauma. Okay, um, and and watching this thing, I've seen my friends posting about it and stuff and how it's like bringing up memories and things like that. And watching what's happening to Christine Blase Ford is absolutely disgusting. Like, okay, those of you who've been following my channel, like I am a big neuroscience nerd. I love neuroscience, I love learning how the brain works. And like the fact that you have people making decisions and questioning this woman who have absolutely no understanding how the human brain works is mind blowing. It is mind blowing. Like, okay, so first let's talk about the gaslighting that's happening. So gaslighting, for those of you who don't know what it is, gaslighting is when you make somebody question their own sanity, okay? A lot of narcissists will do this to uh, their significant others or people around them. And like seeing what's happening to Christine Blase Ford, like, oh my God, and all these news reports and saying like, well, maybe it was somebody else. Maybe she doesn't remember. Maybe she's just this. And it's like, are you kidding me? Because then on the same side, on the same side of that argument, you see people saying, well, why didn't she come forward sooner? Why did she wait this long? Like, hello, hi, do you not understand why women don't come forward? Because they're about to face this kind of scrutiny saying, oh, well, maybe you don't remember it correctly. Maybe this didn't really happen. And it's insane. You know what, thinking about this, I remember watching um, the comments in one of my 13 Reasons Why videos, right? And people were upset with the main character because she didn't get for help after she was sexually assaulted, but she did go for help. And the same thing happened when she went to see the high school counselor, he questioned her memory. He questioned whether or not she remembered properly and did this really happen or was it consensual? Like, it's crazy. This is why so many sexual assault victims are not coming forward. And this isn't just in the Christina Bl uh, Blasey Ford case. I know countless women who have tried to speak up about these things and then it gets questioned. Like, oh, maybe it didn't happen. I know these are serious allegations, and I'm not a fool to think that nobody in the history of mankind has ever lied about something like this, but oh my god, like when it comes down to the memory and how the brain works, like I might include a clip right here of Christine Blase Ford, uh, Ford talking about how the brain actually works, like she dropped the mic so hard on these fools, like how can you really trust your memory, and she laid it down perfectly you are very clear about the attack that it was brett kavanaugh that covered your mouth to prevent you from screaming how are you so sure that it was he uh, the same way that i'm sure that i'm talking to you right now it's just basic memory functions also just the level of norepinephrine and epinephrine in the brain that sort of as you know encodes that neurotransmitter encodes memories into the hippocampus and so the trauma related experience then is kind of locked there whereas other details kind of drift. So let's talk about the brain science of this stuff real quick. Trauma burns in your memory like a brand, okay? Because your brain, the strongest part of your brain is the limbic system. The limbic system is responsible for fight, flight, freeze. It's also responsible for your memories, okay? Traumatic events get burned in your memory because your brain wants to protect you from that happening again. So when a traumatic event happens, what happens is your brain locks that into the memory, but your brain is very efficient, okay? So it locks in the main things, okay? Typically sensory. This is why when people get triggered, it could be sights, sounds, smells, taste, 
all sorts of things. Like certain smells can trigger somebody based on something that was in the room the time of this happening. This is why when you see war veterans who struggle with PTSD, loud noises might trigger them because even though they don't have to witness a horrendous act happening in front of them, the noise might happen because the brain is saying, yo, this crazy thing might be happening again, so you need to get on the defense and you need to save your life. So Christine Blase Ford explained this because she's actually a doctor and understands this stuff and how it burns into the memory of the hippocampus. So that's why she remembers those particular details. And like she mentions and talks about is what so many other women struggle with is that it is it, it hurt her relationships as she went to college and later on in life and her and her husband went to couples counseling and that's again where this came up but it just blows my mind that that people would think that people would think that this woman would go under so much scrutiny and all of this stuff for some kind of political reasons. Like think about in your right mind. Like I am not here, I'm not a political channel or anything like that. I, I am very passionate about mental health and advocacy and all that kind of stuff. And that's what my channel is about. I try to leave my political opinions outside of here, but this is absolutely bananas. But we could really talk about this with any case, with any case of sexual assault and things like that. Not all of them end up like this, but I, I just want people to understand that this is why more women don't come forward. This is why people don't come forward. And it's like, you know, as a father, as a father, like, I, I just hope and pray that my son feels comfortable enough to talk to me if anything like this ever happens. Like, watching the, the Ford's testimony, was brutal. I don't know how many of you watched it, but I was at the gym and I was watching it. And how many times she was asked to recount the details of this and explain and go through it, like that is so difficult for anybody. Like I talk about some of the traumatic things that happened in my uh, past and they're nowhere near what have happened to most victims out, out and around the world. So the fact that she's willing to come forward and do this and I hope, what I hope it does is it's kind of like with mental health. Like I hope it inspires more people to come out and share their stories and talk about them and everything like that. Like I am a firm believer in due process and I think the last thing I'll say in this rant video is, I, I think it's ridiculous that we don't hold somebody with a lifetime term as a Supreme Court justice to the same standards as anybody else who would go through the criminal justice system. Like they're trying to knock this thing out and like, a week, like people were like giving her crap, like, oh, why didn't you fly out here? Oh, oh, hold on, there's more to this rant. They were trying to discredit her anxiety by bringing up the fact that she gets anxiety when she flies. So I don't know if you saw that part of the thing, but they were questioning her like, well, don't you fly for work? Don't you fly for this? I'm like, really? Really, you're trying to discredit her about this sexual assault by talking about her her anxiety while flying? Like, how many people on that planet, on that panel, actually know a damn thing about mental health, neuroscience, anxiety, PTSD, or anything like that? And these are the people making laws. Like, it's no wonder, it's no wonder why, why uh, mental health treatment is so vastly underfunded in this country. Like, look the way they think it works. You know what I mean? But yeah, part of my channel is advocacy, so I talk about this stuff. But anyways, um, my girlfriend had me watch this uh, awesome video on Vox. I'm actually gonna link it down below. It basically talks uh, uh, more in depth about why certain memories, you know, might not be, uh, you know, as vivid as other ones and things like that. Like, for example, he brings up a very good point. Like, about five minutes into the video, he's like, you wanna test it? I showed you a clip at the beginning of this video. What were they wearing? What were the names of these people? What, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. Check it out, it'll be in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, if you think I'm an idiot, anything like that, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Um, you know, like, I, I have noticed that I have a very large female audience on here and like, I, I really hope I can make videos that can help you, inspire you, and things like that. And talk with each other, like I am just, a guy here talking, trying to be a voice. I'm not trying to white knight or anything like that. It's just, 
I don't know, I have compassion for people as a whole and it just absolutely sickens me when I see this type of stuff happening to anybody out there in the world. So anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I make a ton of videos. I was actually gonna make a video about why you date, who you date, but this made me very passionate, so I made this video first. So make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, because that video should be coming tomorrow, all right? I love you all, stay safe, I'll see you next time.